Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Seth Meyers vows to make the Golden Globes as political as possible. Are you sick of everyone on television doing nothing but hating on Trump and conservatives? Seth Meyers is hosting this year's Golden Globes, and he promises that it will continue to be political. However, he claims that he will be talking more about the sex scandals in Hollywood than on the White House. With the monologue, as far as talking about anything in the news right now, it seems like this year more than ever Hollywood has its own internal politics that obviously deserve to be talked about. Going into it our focus is far more on the worlds that make these films and less on anything that's happening in Washington," said Myers. Despite this, he still will spend much of the Golden Globes insulting Trump. According to Myers, he would like to stop talking about Trump, but he can't because of Trump's behavior. There are times where I wish we were talking about other things, said Myers. But. He holds the keys to us not talking about him, which would to be to just behave differently. But while he continues on this path, we'll continue on ours. We all know this will not stop Trump from being himself. We also know it isn't true. Liberals spent eight years insulting George Bush. Now that Trump is president they act like Bush is a great guy. Will you still be watching the Golden Globes? Piers Morgan gets an intense confrontation with Caitlyn Jenner on live television over genitals. Piers Morgan pissed off transgender hero Caitlyn Jenner with a comment about how she used to have a penis. How does your physique compare now to what it was like then? Obviously certain areas we might. Asked Morgan while holding a mini figurine of Jenner from the 1970s. Apparently even mentioning Jenner's past was too much. Well, I was 6 feet 2 inches C. You made a comment there, and that's why you would get in trouble. Okay? You just said oh certain areas, okay? That to a trans person is disrespectful, said Jenner. Is it really? Why? Asked Morgan. Because you don't make a joke about that. It's not funny, it's life. And it's part of my life, and it's a very serious part of my life. I take that very seriously, and so out of respect for myself and the community. It's not something that you joke about. As I said before, this is serious stuff. People die over these issues. It's not a joke, said Jenner. It is pretty funny though. Morgan also asked if Jenner considered herself to be entirely a woman. Well, pretty much biologically I am. My journey to womanhood is different. It took me a long time to get here. Caitlin has always been around in my life, but she always lived inside, said Jenner. I think you represent a lot of people out there who don't understand this issue and exactly what it is. It is a terribly complicated issue, I didn't even understand it for many, many years," said Jenner. CNN's Jim Acosta immediately defends Steve Bannon after President Trump insults him. Ever since Steve Bannon got involved with the Trump administration, CNN's Jim Acosta and the rest of the mainstream media have been calling him a white supremacist. However, after President Trump made a statement against him, CNN's Jim Acosta immediately defended him. Apparently Trump yelling at you gets rid of your white supremacy. In a new book, Bannon is quoted by saying that the Trump campaign meeting with a Russian lawyer was treasonous. You know? The White House is going after Steve Bannon and saying all sorts of things. But keep in mind that what Steve Bannon is saying here really is not being called not credible or not factually accurate. Remember, Steve Bannon is offering his opinion here. That is not being called inaccurate at this point, it's just the president saying that Steve Bannon has lost his mind, claimed Acosta. MSNBC's Chuck Todd also had this to say about Bannon. By the way, buried and here is. Steve Bannon for president. It isn't, like, Bannon muses about it. 
I remember people laughing in 1991 when people floated Pat Buchanan. Nobody quite believed it. Anything is possible, said Todd. Steve Bannon has nothing to do with me or my presidency. When he was fired, he not only lost his job, he lost his mind. Steve was a staffer who worked for me after I had already won the nomination by defeating 17 candidates, often described as the most talented field ever assembled in the Republican Party, wrote Trump in a statement against Bannon. Franklin Graham has scathing dis for CNN host who lit up a marijuana bong on live TV. Last year for New Year's Eve coverage, liberal CNN head host Don Lemon do shots and get drunk on television, which prompted him to make strange and inappropriate revelations about his love life on air. Instead of firing Lemon and the producers who allowed his catastrophe to happen, CNN brought him back and he ended up doing shots on TV again. CNN even decided to up the stakes by having reporter Randy Kay get on a bus full of pot smokers and help light up a partier's marijuana bong on live TV. Many were outraged that CNN would allow something like this to appear on air, in any context outside of mature audiences only fiction. Pastor Franklin Graham tackled CNN's moral failure in a sharply worded response on his Facebook page. He wrote about CNN's provocative stunt. I wish this were hashtag fake news, but CNN seems to now be promoting drug use. Their New Year's Eve coverage of pot use in Colorado was disgraceful. Their reporter, Randy Kay, excitedly, and shamelessly, held a joint, lit a bong, oot over a special gas mask used by stoners, and laughed about not knowing where she was. All while wearing marijuana leaf earrings. That's really professional, isn't it? Franklin went on. Someone commented on Twitter, Really, CNN, this is where your morals have landed in 2018? We have a crippling drug epidemic in our nation that is destroying families and lives. I think this reporter and the producer should be fired and CNN should apologize for promoting pot use. If you agree, let CNN know, you can tag them in your comments below. Do you agree with Graham about CNN? Joy Behar just said Trump needs to be hospitalized and is going to kill all of us. There are many dumb left biased shows across many networks controlled by Democrats, but the true sewer of liberal thought has to ABC's daytime talk show The View. In a recent episode, left wing host Joy Behar declared that the sitting president of the United States is going to kill Americans. The hosts decided to talk about North Korea, and Joy said, Trump needs medicated and hospitalized at this point or he is going to just kill all of us. You know, my feeling is probably they're getting closer to him in the Mueller investigation and that's what this is about, a lot of it. She went on, it's like he'll blow the whole world up so his stupid sons don't have to go to jail. Her liberal co-host Sonny Hostin gave her more fuel, saying, I keep wondering is there some sort of theory here some sort of strategy he's using. She added, if truly he's playing a game of chicken with a dictator in North Korea, we really are in trouble. People are talking about the 25th Amendment and they're saying he's not mentally fit to be the president. If you're doing this, is there a mental fitness problem? We all know the ramifications of nuclear war. Even so-called conservative Meghan McCain joined in the anti-Trump frenzy, saying, not to bring too much levity to this. But when I first read the tweets last night I was like this is an intensely phallic thing to say. This seems to about who is bigger in what context or another. Which is why Nikki Haley needs to run for president. We need have a woman one way or the other taking over. Do you think The View is the dumbest show on TV? Joy Behar shares her plan to get Trump medicated and hospitalized. The ladies on The View had a panic attack over President Trump's tweet defending America from North Korea's nuclear threat. Trump needs medicated and hospitalized at this point or he is going to just kill all of us, claimed Behar. You know, 
my feeling is probably they're getting closer to him in the Mueller investigation and that's what this is about, a lot of it. It's like he'll blow the whole world up so his stupid sons don't have to go to jail, she said. I keep wondering is there some sort of theory here some sort of strategy he's using. If truly he's playing a game of chicken with the dictator in North Korea, we really are in trouble. People are talking about the 25th Amendment and they're saying he's not mentally fit to be the president. If you're doing this, is there a mental fitness problem? We all know the ramifications of nuclear war, responded Sonny Hostin. Meghan McCain felt that Trump's tweet was phallic. We may have those checks and balances here. He dealing with a mentally unstable opponent who doesn't have those checks and balances as far as I can see. So why play this provocative game back and forth with someone who is almost as crazy as Trump or maybe more, said Beher. Yup, she just said Kim Kong un is almost as crazy as Trump. Meryl Streep implies without evidence that President Trump is sexually assaulting Melania. In an interview with the New York Times, Meryl Streep was asked to state her opinion on Harvey Weinstein and the hashtag MeToo movement. However, instead of talking about herself, she decided to divert to Melania and Ivanka Trump, implying that they are being victimized in some way by Donald Trump. I've got to shift conversation to the news these days, sexual harassment. One thing that struck me after the Harvey Weinstein accusations broke was people were saying, what is Meryl going to say? They were waiting for you, asked the New York Times. I know. I found out about this on a Friday and went home deep into my own life. And then somebody told me that on Morning Joe they were screaming that I haven't responded yet. You make movies. You think you know everything about everybody. So much gossip. You don't know anything. People are so inscrutable on a certain level. And it's a shock. Some of my favorite people have been brought down by this, said Streep, avoiding the question. What do you make of the fact, though, that people are waiting for you to speak? Asked the interviewer. I don't want to hear about the silence of me. I want to hear about the silence of Melania Trump. I want to hear from her. She has so much that's valuable to say. And so does Ivanka. I want her to speak now, said Streep out of nowhere. What is wrong with her?